What up, players? It's Warboss Tay up in this mud. Today we're going to be talking about the Second Space Marine Legion. We're going to be painting the Space Marine from the Second Legion. And what is the Second Legion of Space Marines? Nobody knows because it is um, completely wiped out of all records and um, there's no records of it. So we don't know if it's a good Legion, a bad Legion, if they stayed loyal, if they turned traitor. We don't know anything about it because all the records were destroyed following the Horus Heresy. Even I think before then, because the the, the Primarchs were um, when the Primarchs were scattered across the universe, two of the Primarchs did not make it, unfortunately. And so yeah, it was even before the Heresy, uh, those two Primarchs did not make it, and so nobody knows about those last two. And I think there's been a lot of talk about it, and I'm I'm pretty sure it's been confirmed that the reason why they did that was because Games Workshop wanted players to have the freedom to create their own founding or first founding legion. So you have the creativity to make any legion you want, any color scheme, and it will come out uh, and you can say that it matches the fluff because um, there's nobody to say otherwise. The second legion is one of those two legions, so you have the creativity to do whatever you want. And um, leave me a comment if I'm wrong, because I've been kind of following the boards and looking at forums and reading things on various websites. But anyways, we're going to actually, so I guess that's the end of that video. We don't want to make a video that short. So today we're going to be talking about the third legion, Emperor's Children. Now, I did a Fluff Hunters on the pre-heresy Emperor's Children, but man, I've been doing more research on them and their story is so... Man, so great. It's one of one of those classic uh, tragic hero stories that mostly all, I think, of the of the traitor legions, except for maybe word bearers, but even then, and um, um, world eaters, even then those guys, there, there's always something in those traitor legions that you can find. But today we're going to be talking about Emperor's Children, and I painted up this test model. I was planning on doing the tutorial with this guy, because I still, I'm looking for a way to paint the pink so it's not completely glaringly in your face um, offensive because sometimes I've seen some pinks out there that is just so too bright, too um, truly outrageous, truly, truly, truly outrageous and uh, I didn't want to go for that but at the same time I didn't want to get a purplish pink because the, um, the pre-heresy guy that I painted is pretty pretty distinctly purple. So here I've got my pre-heresy guy over here in a very purple color scheme and uh, here on the left side you see the current Space Marine from the Emperor's Legion. So um, we're going to be painting a, for the tutorial I'm going to be filming, we're going to be painting this guy on the left side, the pink armor. Um, I'm going to be filming the tutorial and actually the model I'm going to be using for the tutorial it's going to be this guy, the Chosen with the Lightning Claws, because I hear um, you give a guy Lightning Claws and Mark of Slanesh, and that is pretty, pretty good. So I'm going to use this model to demonstrate, but I kind of wanted to make a test model, test run first, you know? So I, I did this little conversion bit. It's got um, bits from the Champion sprue of the Chaos Space Marine, so the Slanesh shoulder pad, uh, the head, Slanesh head. I decided to use the, the pack for the champion because it's got the little leering face on the back. But um, yeah, the Emperor's Children is... I, the more I read about them, the more I really dig them and think they're so, you know, so cool that uh, they strove for perfection because the, the gene seed, when their Primarch Fulgrim was rejoined and reunited with his Space Marines, the, the gene seed was like flawed or something and um, it was imperfect, so they had to get rid of a lot of Space Marines. So they started with a very small number, and um, there was only 800, I believe, when he addressed them. And he said, because there's so few of us compared to our brothers, we have to strive for perfection. We have to be the best, and um, we have to bring the light of the em em Emperor and the Imperium of Man to the far-flung reaches of space. We have to take back what is ours for humanity. And um, the Emperor was so inspired by this, that he allowed them to wear the crest on their chest plates of the two-headed eagle, which was his personal symbol, the Aquila. And um, 
they were the only legion allowed to do that in the pre-heresy days before uh, before the Horus heresy. So really great fluff. Uh, the fact that Fogrim was such an idealist that he strove for perfection because of the um, the world that he grew up in. Chemos had no culture, no art. It was just all very harsh conditions, and he had to he had to struggle to survive and um, and then bring art and culture back into civilization and, and he really strove for that because it's what separated humankind from the, the aliens and then uh, I really think that um, it, it's such a great story and his fall is just all the more tragic because of it so stay tuned for that I want to know what you think of this pink color scheme is it too much is it too little I know there's some highlights I still need to do I need to edge highlight the armor and give it a little bit more definition on the edges it just all looks like um, just like a whole bunch of pink, but uh, I'm still getting getting used to painting this bright color. I've never painted pink power armor before, so it's a fun challenge. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you in the tutorial on how to paint Chaos Space Marines Emperor's Children. Latest players!